and uh, a, a new dialogue. And it helps us harmonize two parts of who we are, the spiritually oriented aspect of ourselves and the rational, logical part of who we are. Uh, we can be whole, uh, more whole as a result, uh, I think, of honoring these studies. And finally, you say, this understanding may lead to a transformation in the way we pray. No longer will we pray incessantly for things such as our health, but our prayers will be predominantly prayers of gratitude and thanksgiving, our proper response on realizing that the world at heart is more glorious, benevolent, and friendlier than we've recently supposed. <laughs> you know, I, this, this passage always reminds me of a statement of Einstein that mm -hmm. the most important question a scientist can ask is, is the universe friendly? Mm -hmm. And I think by affirming immortality and an eternal aspect of who we are, these studies help us give it a yes answer to Einstein's famous question, is the universe friendly? Affirming immortality. Well, that's worth another discussion, I must say. <laughs> we'll be joined again next week by uh, Dr. Larry Dossie as we continue our conversation on the extraordinary healing power of ordinary things. Thank you for bringing healing words to our listeners today. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. 15 years later. Thanks for joining us on uh, Oprah and Friends, XM156. See you, see you next week. I love this talk, man. I love this talk. I hope you enjoyed this edition of our Soul Series. These are some of my favorite conversations. To hear more, sign up for a free 30-day XM Radio trial by going to www.xmradio.com slash Oprah.